1665 going down. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy uh, about that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't. Uh, the long-term solutions for uh, the state, in the state, the state of Maine receives back 1.69 federal dollars for every dollar it pays in. It's, it's among the highest, in, it's, it is the highest in New England. Because we're poor. Yeah. But as the, as the federal deficit begins to uh, uh, grow and grow and its entitlement spending devours that up, what happens to a state that's been living that way? And what proposals do you have to reduce the way that we've been having to uh, maximize federal spending to <coughs> meet our current budget needs? Well, every state has maximized federal spending, and the reason the federal government can share with us now, they can spend money that states can't do. And in a downturn, that's when people need unemployment. That's when people need assistance. <coughs> we have been very frugal in the good time. Actually, since I've been in the legislature, the sales tax was reduced to 6%. There have, uh, we, 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 a property tax on machinery was repealed. There's been a, any things that we had to do in the last downturn, like a push into the next fiscal year, has been fixed again, if you will. So what ha is happening now, I don't have to tell you, some parts of the state, in the construction industry, unemployment is 30%. And those folks are unemployed and they need help right now. So this is a partnership with the federal government to make sure we get through the hard times. When times are good, you don't do that. But when they're bad, we have to take care of one another. I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I think, was it Obama, somebody said, a crisis is too valuable to waste. We have learned a lot, thank you. We've learned a lot, and, and I know uh, Representative Saviello can tell you the same thing, that it is not business as usual. This is an opportunity we're trying to use to learn how to deliver those services better. You may, I mean, all over the place, whether it's uh, dispatching services for uh, public safety, whether it's welfare services, job training, any of those things are really under a microscope. Because even with this restoration that you may have been reading about in the budget, things are still being cut. Things are still being cut because there's no money. And so, uh, honestly, Angus King used to say he never found that man in the basement who was shoveling money into the furnace. <laughs> and uh, if, you know, if there are ideas for doing things better, I think you'll, uh, Representative Saviello, I'm not your representative in the legislature, but you have one very open and very interested in new ideas. And look, you just were successful in killing sick leave. <laughs> so people listen is what I'm right, trying to say. Right, right. I'm not being sarcastic. People listen. You made a point and people listen. So I really am not meaning to be sarcastic. I'm just saying the legislature listens. <coughs> So a woman is beaten every nine seconds in the United States, regardless of social class. What do you feel about domestic violence? That was part of the sick leave plan, I might say. You've got some time off to go to court if you needed to. But Maine has tried, and, and I will say, Steve Rogue has been a real leader in protecting <coughs> when he was attorney general <coughs> these things. It's certainly a democratic principle, a democratic philosophy. Certainly we want to do everything we can. That's another real problem in this downturn. As people get more and more frustrated, they're home, they don't have any work, and they're frustrated, you're more likely to take it out when the person closest <clears throat> to you. We, we have hotlines, we try to create shelters, we try to provide anonymity, uh, and to try to help. It's very difficult to extricate yourself from an abusive relationship. People think it's their fault to try to give independence to the victim so that they can move on and to prosecute quickly. It's something that we don't accept, and I think that that is unanimously accepted as people have stood up to it. That hasn't always been the way, as you know. 